Hey, Smashers. Shh. Quiet on the set, please. What is that right there? What? Where? What? What are you folding right there? His underwear. My underwear? Those aren't his. Whose are they? You got your hands on my underwear? Oh, my God. Whose are those? Whose underwear are those? Who knows? Are those Max's underwear? They're not mine. Oh, my God. There's a strange pair of underwear in our and home. And Rick doesn't wear those. Those definitely are not my underwear. Mine that are... is so... you got to have a talk with Jolie about that. <laughs> well, Wait, let's see those. Send, send those. Give some of your show, everybody. No, I'm not going to embarrass her. Don't uh, welcome. Well, how do we know it's her? Are they... Did you bring a guy over? Oh, my God. She just said yes. Your mom... Mom. As a boyfriend who's been coming here while we're away. Oh, and when the cat's away, the mice will play. Welcome to the Daily Smash for Wednesday, September 13th, 2023. I'm Rick. I'm Kelly. A lot of drama here in the Leventhal household. I just woke up from a nap. I was in the most blissful sleep. You know that feeling like when you just, you're so tired in the afternoon and you give yourself a little break. I was, me yesterday. And then she woke me up and I, because I was just, I couldn't open my eyes. I, I'm. Still ready to just curl up in a ball. Well, yesterday I was exhausted from traveling yes. from the Hamptons. Okay? Yes. I was. I was exhausted. I didn't want to drink any alcohol at all. <laughs> and uh, my friend said, hey, uh, I'm having this event over at the uh, Stag, Stag Bar. Stag Bar. Stag Bar, right Which down the street. Which is right down. First you said it was somewhere else, and we drove to Costa Mesa. There's the, the Wild Goose. And it wasn't there. Because my friend Mario owns those restaurants. Turns out it was right down the street here, like two minutes from here. I know. I got confused. So we went there, and you didn't drink. So I didn't drink, and uh, I was pretty proud of myself. Well, Rick had a couple things, and I'm like, I am, I got I to gotta go to bed. And Rick goes... Rob Schmidt beat me at pool three times in a row, and they have this tournament at Blackie's every Monday, a pool tournament. Be Blackie's on the and beach. And he goes, ah, I have to practice, and I I'm going to go in the game. I have to avenge the loss. And I'm like, I'm not going. I'm out. Peace. I'm going to bed. Like, I'm exhausted. I don't want to drink any alcohol. I'm done. Yeah. I went right to bed. Rick rode his bike to Blackie's. I did. And... Um, I, he, gave, he came back at 11 o'clock at night, and I was, like, out of it. Well, I'm like, 10, how, and I'm like, and I'm thinking to myself, how in the heck is he up, raging, I, playing pool? I, I wasn't raging, but I did have a couple more tequila drinks. And you I watched was the rest of the game. semi-hammered. Two things about that story. One, I won the pool tournament. I never lost a game. How many people were it, in there? How there many were people? Sixteen people in the tournament. It took forever because you it's a double elimination. So if you win you go to the winner's side. If you lose you go to the loser's side, but you can play again and stay in the tournament. So all these people who lost went to the losers bracket and they're just there's a lot of names and they have to have games and there were two tables. So it was like probably in some cases close to an hour between games. I'm just waiting, waiting. I came waiting. back at halftime from the game, I'm like, I'm out. I'm I'm done. But peace. I won the tournament. I never lost a game. I won fifty five million dollars. No, fifty five dollars. <laughs> I wish. But but uh also the Jets thing, when we went to the event at the stag bar before the pool tournament, Mark Sanchez, former Jets quarterback, was there. And while we were there, then the the first four after four plays, the Jets offense, Aaron Rodgers got hurt. And nobody knew what happened to him. And it looked like, it didn't look that bad. Like maybe he hurt his ankle, whatever. And I was talking to Mark Sanchez about it. And he said, I think he might have torn his Achilles. And I'm like, there, there's no way. My buddy tore his Achilles playing pickup football in New York City. He was carted off on an ambulance, you know, on a stretcher. He was in a lot of pain. Like Aaron Rodgers looked like it was no big deal. That guy's and, tough. And Mark Sanchez was like, the adrenaline's pumping. Game time. He's in great shape. He's. You know, and he's pissed, and you know he's, he explained it so well, and he was completely on point. He he's accurate. That guy should be an NFL analyst if he's not already. I think he does some of that. He is smoking hot. No he's offense. He's a good looking dude. Really nice, cool guy. Signed my jersey, my Dirty Sanchez jersey. Did I tell that story yesterday about the jersey? I don't. I remember. showed the dirty on the back. Yeah. I lost a bet at the AFC Championship game down in Miami. Sanchez, the Jets were playing the Patriots, and if I lost the bet, the guy who ran the bar 
got to write dirty on my jersey. And I forget what I could do if, if the Jets won. If you guys don't know what a dirty Sanchez is, Google it. The Jets lost, so he wrote that on my jersey, and I told Mark Sanchez the story, and he goes, now I'm even more pissed that I lost that game, which I thought was a great Did he know what game you were talking about? Yeah, 100%. He did. You know what, you know what uh, we're one month away from? Our anniversary. Yeah, well, yes, yes. But exactly one month is our live show in Detroit. Oh, gosh. It's in one month. I know time flies. Wow. It's September 13th. Our show is October 13th in Birmingham, Michigan. You guys, please Outside come. Outside Detroit. Please. We want you guys to come. We're, we're, we're selling tickets fast, but there are some left. And I want to, you know, uh, make sure that we fill the house. So we're encouraging you to go to rickandkellydetroit.com and get yourself a pair of tickets. We can't wait to see you. We're going to have a great time that night. Mm -hmm. Ilya Wine sponsors the Daily Smash. Look Love how it. nice you look with that bottle. Show Thank me that you. bottle again. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, you can get your Ilya Wine at 20% off. How do they do it? Ilya.com using the discount code Rick and Kelly 20 If you buy three or more bottles, you get free shipping. And that is a great deal because this will come right to your doorstep and it is fantastic. We appreciate you supporting the Smash and I appreciate you supporting Ilya which supports the Smash. We'd also like you to subscribe. Our subscribers, through the roof. I am perturbed. About? There's a, a pair of men's underwear in there. However, we do live at the beach. He could have changed into some board shorts. They're always at the beach. Yeah. It's hot right now. It's, it's our and, summer. And then kept his board shorts on and left the underwear here by mistake. Yes. Jolie's going to get a beating when she gets home. Oh, yeah. My mom will do it. Can I share? She did it. She did it with me. <laughs> I want to share a couple comments. This one from EJB Graphics. You guys need to stop acknowledging the negative comments. They won't have any life if you don't acknowledge them. It's true. Stop caring about them. They will always be there. It just brings down the morale and vibe of your channel. I agree. There was, well, because there was one this morning, I have to say. Yeah. Something really negative. And you, if you click on the name, you can see all the old comments. So you can see if it's a troll, yeah. somebody's watching. You can see what they've said before, right? And there was, and it said, unsubscribed on one. And I'm like, <laughs> I thought you unsubscribed. <laughs> Why are you here? <laughs> well, since we got that message. But I agree with that. I'm going to read one of the many Really kind, really wonderful comments. We get every day. And thank you guys, again, for writing such wonderful things, for, for watching our show and enjoying it so much. LGN8385. You're adorable. Thank you. Beautiful. I talking about you? No, you. Oh, thanks. Intelligent and damn hilarious. Oh, thank you. Rick is one handsome, blessed man. I so enjoy the way y'all match each other's balance. Seesaw you too. I would wonder if others would like to see more of the discount store shopping. It's so fun to see y'all's reactions. Sending lots of love to you and your precious family. Thank you, LGN. A seesaw. Remember on the Brady Bunch when they used to have a seesaw in the back of their yard and you're like, I want one of those. <laughs> <laughs> I remember riding the seesaw. So today we drove to LA to Encino. Your period, to your right? periodontist. My periodontist, Dr. Amir Jamshid. He's one of the best in, that's why we go all the way over there, because he's the best. And in our Southern doctor, California. our doctor, our primary care physician here in Newport Beach goes to him. Goes to him. We just found that out today. <laughs> but Dr. Amir what Jamshid. What a small world, huh? I, it is. He, it, we lo I love this guy. And the, the technicians there who take uh, great care of me so far. And I did a video that I want to share with you guys. It basically describes what it is that I'm trying to accomplish at their office. Okay, so Dr. Amir Jamshid has been kind enough to help me with my gums. What's wrong with my gums? Well, you had some uh, gum disease, and uh, as a result of that gum disease, you've had some deep pockets around your teeth, which attracts food 
and bacteria. Uh, I, I have new veneers. My teeth are beautiful. <laughs> Is that so your, what wait, do you mean? Wait, I have put down. Like, so the, the top of the teeth, where the teeth comes out, is you know your the enamel of the teeth and where the teeth uh, you're functioning with. Yeah. The bottom of the teeth, where which is inside the gum, is what is the foundation and what the gums hold your teeth with. So when the gums are when you're, you're the root of the tooth goes inside the gums, and the structure there is called periodontal structure. They keep your teeth in order for you to function with your teeth. So even though I spent all this money on this beautiful grill, I could lose it if you don't fix my gums. Yes. The Ew, and I, won't, I will not be with you of dentures. <laughs> but, <laughs> so but thank you, you for helping him. So I had my first treatment and it was not, I mean, it was tough. It was like two hours of laser cleaning, right? In between and up in there. Right. And I, I did okay after my first one, but it was my fault. I didn't floss enough, right? So how was it? Uh, how was your bleeding after? Much less. Much less. Yeah. So as you can see, after the cleaning and the doing the laser and placing the antibiotics, you have felt a lot better. Yeah. You, you even you even felt that. And if you do a little bit better at home, then your gums are gonna start getting better and better. So I'm gonna floss more, and I'm coming back here for another deep clean. And another laser session. Yeah, that's what is I Is the laser a new thing? Is a laser a new thing? It's been around for a while. Uh, I don't know uh, what percentage of offices use it. Uh -huh. um, a lot of offices, what they do after the deep cleaning, if the pockets don't improve, they just send the patient to the periodontist and have the periodontist deal with it. But you promised but me is, you're going to help me avoid surgery and get healthy with up here, right? I'm going to promise you to do my best <laughs> yeah. to avoid the surgery, and we've been pretty successful with that promise. Well, his so, hey, thank you. I'm not going to lie to you, but we're going to do our best 100%. Well, I appreciate that. His office is fantastic. And Encino, and it was worth the drive from Newport Beach. I love you coming from, from uh, Newport Beach all the way You know, we only don't go to the best. to make that drive, but we appreciate you guys. Well, yeah. I'm going to make it again. Thank you. Well, you're thank the you. best in all of L.A., so. Uh, yeah. Yep, yeah. you are. Thank Thanks, you, brother. Appreciate it. All right. They couldn't be nicer. Today was easy, because all they had to do was look at me. But they were pretty clear that I'm going to need to more aggressively floss now. I, I, I've been flossing more than I was, but now I have to do it like all the time. I was like, oh, do you use a water pick? The water pick, mm-mm. You got to get in you there. You got to get in there. You got to get your gums rough. The water pick just takes the food out, but you got to aggressively floss. Yeah, and, I, and, and I'm going to need your help. To remind, floss? I'm yes, not flossing this. You need to floss me. No, I am not flossing <laughs> no, you. No, I just need you to remind me. <laughs> Can you imagine if I was like this? Do me, baby. <laughs> you are very good at it. You're way more conscientious about flossing than I am. That's why I'm having problems. Because my mom over there had gum disease. And yeah. I remember when I was a kid, she had stitches all right here on her teeth. I'm thinking, never will I ever ever good my mom was always saying you have to floss your teeth you have to floss your teeth and you know what what that his mouth that's as much as a range rover in his mouth that's like that's how expensive those <laughs> teeth grill are. My, like my. you have to take care of those you even though you have nice teeth it's not about your teeth it's your gums yes i agreed and i am going to i promise your mom came with us and we stopped by megan weaver's house after the dentist she took my shorts on accident She's like, she gave I, him back though. Oh, she did. <laughs> she goes, I didn't know you were bringing a superstar with you, Bobby. Uh huh. Uh, we saw her. My mom loved her house. Ben was there, the dogs. They have these two giant dogs, so cute. And then uh, we went to the mall and we went to Javier's for lunch. It's a and beautiful then, mall, that, you, that Westfield went, Mall. Uh, yeah, it's so nice. It's so nice. Yeah. I think it's the only thing that's nice in LA. <laughs> <laughs> I'm well, the, kidding, I'm kidding. The but. drive was, we were on Mulholland. Oh, it's, yeah, it's beautiful over there. Yeah. Would you like to move over there? I kind of like it here. I mean, I love it here. I don't really want to move. If I, The only reason to move there would be if the job was there. But I Because the, 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 oh my God, it takes forever to get, it took us an hour and a half to get here. Yeah. That's how long it takes us to get to the desert. An hour and a half. It, it was maybe 10 more minutes we would have been in the desert. But uh, we also went, you went to Zara, you took her to Zara. Mm -hmm. You bought her something? I bought her an outfit. Very nice of you. Yes. Um, the Mark Sanchez thing was cool. <laughs> the way, and then he signed my jersey. That was cool.
talking to him was cool. I couldn't believe he knew about Aaron Rodgers. Uh, and then, oh, on the way to the beach, I wanted to show this video because, you know, we take these bike rides all the time, Kelly and I. I and didn't I, take it last night. I was in bed. She didn't go last night. And we had just gotten back. This was, I'm talking Tuesday evening. Uh, I'm sorry, Monday evening. Monday morning, we were on that plane back from New York. And I hadn't really slept except on the plane. I was exhausted, but I was so impressed when I got to the beach. It just reminded me of why we live here. It was such a beautiful night. Newport Beach is just a beautiful enclave of, it's just, it's very Republican here. Everything's very pristine. Everything's mm -hmm. beautiful. Yeah. Crime is low. Yep. Uh, there's a lot of cops. We don't defund them. <laughs> uh, it's just a really beautiful, but the setting, beautiful area. But the setting, and then it, was, it had rained earlier here, believe it or not. And so there were clouds. And, and the sun had set, but there was not, you know, just recently, and the, the lights. and it, So anyway, this video, I just, I was blown away. I was like, oh, my God, this is beautiful. I paused, even though I was running a little late for the pool tournament. Wait, can I just read that before I forget, before I lose yeah. my train of thought, that patron that just came through? Or yes. I want, I want to read this. This is from Lisa Townsend. Just joined. So excited to watch your shows. We were in a restaurant about five months ago, and Shannon and her meathead-looking date, not John, were sitting across from us. We were taking selfie pictures of our group at dinner, and Shannon looked over at us and said to her date, Oh, wow, they're taking pictures of me. We're not taking pictures of her. She is a complete narcissist. Hmm, interesting. I will neither confirm nor deny that statement. You know her a lot better than I do. Uh, the, you know, she comes off very, very, she comes off very, very um, like a victim. Like you want to feel sorry for her on uh, TV. Yeah. But she thinks she's hot stuff. She does. Well, I always like. Maybe her. she is. I always like. I her. liked her too. I like her, but I'm just saying, I like her at times. Well, the season... She's, she's neurotic. The, or <laughs> the Orange County season's winding down, but our recaps continue with a vengeance every week. And we've gotten very good numbers. Thank you guys for checking out I don't know recap. how we're going to do our recap tomorrow because we're going to L.A. We're going to yep. go have dinner with Jeff Lewis. Yep. Go hang out. I, we don't have a DVR at the hotel there. We have a show first thing Thursday morning with on Je Sirius XM with Jeff Lewis. And then we have to drive to the desert. So what we're going to do is when we get to the desert... We're going to have to watch the show and recap it and post it as soon as we can on Thursday. So you'll see our smash Thursday morning, and then you'll see our recap Thursday afternoon. And on that show, Kelly's going to be promoting her Blue edge. Mean Face Pro. Because yeah, I love it. Don't forget it. You have to pack it. Okay. Uh, because they love Kelly's promotions, and Kelly loves the product, and we think you will too. Are I, you okay? I am. Uh I was trying to remember what I was going to bring up there. Uh, I sh talked about the pool tournament. We there was yesterday. You said we forgot something. What was it that we didn't include in our Monday Smash that we meant to include? And I remembered, it was our visit to Tate's Bake Shop in Southampton. I thought when you know when you think of Tate's Bake Shop, you can get Tate's all over the world, all over the country, right? At now every, you can. At every it used grocery to be, store. Just like the New York area, because... I thought it's from Southampton, though. Yeah. So we went to the headquarters. So I was thinking it was going to be some kind of, like, cookie factory, like <laughs> Ghirardelli, you know? Like, when yeah. you go to San Francisco and you go to Ghirardelli Square, yeah. and they show you, like, the chocolate factory. I've never seen that. you never seen that? I love Ghirardelli chocolate. You never... You never, you never uh -uh. Oh, it's, it's fabulous. Yeah. But I like things that have... You know, like, you can go to the M&M store, and yeah. they have, like, the little... Or you know what I mean? Uh -huh. Or you see like those shows on Food Network, like um, this is how they make them, you know? Or yeah, yeah. this is how it's done, or yeah. whatever. You know those those shows? Yeah, of course. I thought the tapes it was gonna be more of like a like a like you can look like through a, a window destination. and see them making the cookies in there. Yeah, in the back. I thought it was gonna like a bakery where you're gonna see it. I thought it was gonna be something like really fabulous, like like. So you were disappointed. Yeah, I was like in San, you know, in San Francisco and Yountville, There's um, that that cook, that baking store. What's it called? Uh, it's he, um, the French Laundry guy owns it. 
Oh, I know the one you're talking about. They line up out front. They out line front out front. It's morning. a bakery, and it's it's pretty cool. And you see them making the bakery, and they see them doing all that. Yeah. You didn't see that here. Even here in Newport Beach, they have a place called Mulan right off 73 next to Vibe. And they show, like, they have, like, I'll, I should show them that. It's that would really be cool. cool. Yeah, it would be cool. Yeah. But I will say this. The thing about this Tate's Bake Shop, it is a bakery. They do have pies and cakes and things that you don't normally see in a package that Tate sells in the stores. They also have a bunch of different varieties of cooking. Bouchon. Bouchon is the place I was thinking of. In Napa. Yes. Thomas Keller owns it. See, I got it. Very good. Yes. I'm impressed. Bouchon. But Tate's in Southampton has more flavors and more variety than you would get... At the grocery store. At the store. Thank you. So that was cool. And uh, we did shoot a couple of videos in there. Mm -hmm. we got all kinds of baked goods in here. Oh, look at that. Are you going to pick out something? Apple pie, blueberry pie. Oh, gift bag. Look at that. That's my favorite right there. Oh, I might have to get one of these. You gotta be kidding me. Hey, show us. They have gluten-free brownies. Jolie would go nuts oh, right now. Oh, my God. They I also have blondies. So fudgy. Yeah. Look at all this. Look at all these flavors. They have mint, which I feel like you Coconut would Coconut crisp, double chocolate. We're at Tate's right now. But you were just... I got a candle. A uh, Tate's. Yeah, we is it, do candy. we give that to, to? No, I'm keeping oh. it for for safekeeping. Oh, to I always have to give people gifts. Well, we were going to give it to Rob Schmidt, but we never made it to his house. Right. And I do want to say I don't remember if I talked about this yesterday. We played pool at Ramona's house. She has a pool table in the basement after dinner, and I played Rob at pool. And he kicked her butt. I, I don't times. lose very often. I'm not saying I'm the greatest pool player on earth, but I'm good, and I don't lose that often. And when I do lose, I usually win the rematch, or at least win something. I lost three games in a row for the first time in years. You I swear. Suck. I swear. I you I, suck now. Well, I don't suck now because I just won the pool tournament at Blackie's Monday night. <laughs> just joking. But Rob Schmidt beat me three games in a row, and I'm like, I was stunned and. Okay, maybe I had a couple drinks, but I, you know, and I maybe I missed a couple of opportunities, but he beat me. So I'm like determined now. The next time I go, we go to New York or if he comes here, I'm playing with pool and I'm beating him. So we ate at Javier's and I had a salad and I'm full right now. But my friend, Jim Hoy's kids catch these super huge tunas. The pictures I'm gonna are show insane. You pictures. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna show you. I'll, I'll show you fish. some pictures. Yeah. We're going to his house to have some real life sushi. We're going to do that right now as soon as we're done with this show. Right. As I'm going to show you, I'm going to give you the pictures of the kids this, this catching is, these huge this is what tuna. They, this, yeah, this is what they caught. And this is what we're, we're going to eat. <laughs> <laughs> Before we go, we have a few mm -hmm. rackets left, a few paddles, a few pickleball party town paddles at pickleballpartytown.store. Uh, you know what I think we're going to do? Let's get rid of these because we got a new manufacturer that's way, way, way better. We're going two for one. That's it. Because we have we, our friend um, is a licensee. Yeah. Has the best manufacturer that we are going to use. But that's not to say these aren't awesome paddles. They're they great are. paddles, we got, but we got we got, we got, some, we got some better ones. We're going to go two for one on the paddles. We just need to get rid of these so we can make our new ones. And we need to make room in our garage because we just had to move all our stuff out of storage. <laughs> so we have to make room. We got like four boxes left. So let's sell paddles and balls two for one pickleballpartytown.store. All you have to do is order one and I'll send you two. So you buy one paddle, this carbon fiber beautiful paddle. Play it's it's, it's great, ball. but we got some new ones. Rick and Kelly we... approved. Two for one. Thank you. Two for one on the paddles and the ball. Do you notice that my, he my head's more hollow than yours? Pink Does ball. that mean that I don't have anything in there? I'm, no, I have cobwebs in my head. 
PickleballPartyTown.store. Speaking of Pickleball Party Town, before we get to in the news, there is one month available, April of 2024. I don't want to rent it. I was talking to Rick about this, so funny. PicklePartyHouse.com. So my friend texts me, and she's like, hey, can I rent out your, your house for the weekend? And I'm like, no, dude. Neighborhood watch, watching us like hawks. We cannot rent by the we weekend. We cannot we can. rent by the we weekend. We will not rent short term. At all. But I was thinking, so she's like, well, this was in like April, right? Because I, I want it rented for the whole month. And I thought to Rick, why don't we do, um, like make it a destination for people where we, you can stay with us. I don't think we should tell anyone that we're doing that because then they'll probably try to shut us down. Why, but it could be our friends. How are they going to shut us down? If they what say, do you guys oh, you think can't, about that? If we're renting for the week, um, but, but your point is that they would stay with us. Right. Like come stay with Rick and Kelly. That, that would be like a loophole, right? Maybe it Wouldn't is. Wouldn't that be fun? I don't know. No, I think the city would say you can't do that because you're renting your house. It doesn't matter if you're there. It's short term. What is it? It's short term. So we're not going to do us, that. Though. We're not going to do that. I think it would be awesome. <laughs> I think it'd be fun. What's for it worth? What's it worth to spend a weekend with us at Pickleball Party Town? I think it'd be fun. I think it would be too. I don't know. We're a good time. In the news now. In the news. Aerosmith postponed multiple dates of its final tour after Steven Tyler suffers vocal cord damage. God, he looks like Tales of the Crypt. Steven Tyler is 75 years old. Adios mio. He's your age. Are you 74 or 75? 74. Could you be up there on stage doing that? Well, he's got skills. He's Can got you skills? sing Walk This Way right now? <laughs> well, obviously. Do you mean that that guy is like? Can big, I hear you? Belt, that guy's like seventy-five, banging like a screen door in a hurricane. Can I read you a quote? Well, my mom might be too. I mean, those underwear might be. From yeah, those could belong to her boyfriend. Friend. A much younger man. Yeah. I'm heartbroken to say I have received strict doctor's orders not to sing for the next thirty days. Tyler announced on the band's Instagram on Monday. Revealing that six cities will have to wait until to say their final goodbyes to the Rock and Roll Hall, Hall of Famers. Tyler75 said the band would need to postpone a few dates so they could come back and give fans the performance they deserve. That's Toronto, Chicago, Detroit. Detroit. Cleveland, Raleigh, and Washington, D.C. all have been rescheduled for January and February 2024. How about that Nancy Pelosi, who it, whom is like 100? She looks like Tales of the Crypt. That looks like Tales of the Crypt. Yeah. Is running. <laughs> like, someone, like, someone said they're proposing term limits for Congress. and. That uh, is absolute. Rick goes, that must be the best job in the whole wide world because yeah. they never, ever want to quit. Can you imagine? these? They, they're, they're in their 80s pushing 90 and they want to run for re-election. Why? I'm going <laughs> to tell you why. And most people don't know this. Being in... Congress, being a senator or congressperson, is the greatest job on earth. It has to be. That's the only reason I can see. They're, they're getting free lodging, free meals, being wooed by lobbyists. They're flying private. You don't think they go like this, <laughs> taking money to, to... They're getting stock tips. Yep. Look look at their por portfolios. They all get they're, rich. They're making $100,000 a year. And they're living like kings. And they're living like kings. Now, I know some of these guys, they'll, they'll room with each other. Like when they're junior congressmen from Tennessee, or they, they, they room together in D.C. when they're not home with their families. But it's, they must be having a great time, living large. Nobody wants to quit. Nobody wants to give up being an elected official. Because it's easy as crap. And you get paid under the table... <laughs> Because people are like, oh, yeah, do this for me, and I'll give you the, the top of the skim, or what do they call it? They, uh, they take the... Skin in the game? Skin, no, when they take off the, you know, when somebody's like, here. Oh, skim off the top. Skim off the top. See, I can't, I'm, I'm tired right now. We got to go to, to dinner and get our sushi on. It's, we're late now. Oh, my God. We're Thank you guys for watching. Have a smash-tastic day. Smash-tastic day, everybody. Can't wait to bring you another show tomorrow. We I hope know. to see you then. All right, take care.